what kind of activist would I be if I not use this platform to talk about things that some people in our community don't want to listen to? I have been spoken to queer activists all around Europe. And we have a message for you. What if we told you decriminalization, sex work, is something that we in the LGBTQ movement need to fight for? Would you ask me why? Would you protest? Would you say that talk about people selling sex has no place at Pride? Over the last few decades, gay and bisexual people have won a lot of rights. In most of Europe, gay sex and relationship are decriminalized and gay marriage and rainbow families are on the rise. There are gay emojis, for fuck's sake. And pride, once a protest, has become a parade, a celebration. But what if we told you that these victories come at a cost? In your eagerness to be seen as normal, you have decided to turn your back and kick downwards at any members of our community that are seen as dirty, abnormal, undeserving of rights. We're talking about trans, non-binary, and intersex people. We're talking about LGBTQIA migrants. We are talking about drug users, and we are talking about people living with HIV. And today, we are especially focusing on sex workers. So how is this a LGBTQIA issue? Why is sex work something we bring up today? On a day when we should be partying together to the tunes of Loreen or Donna International. Let me tell you, sex workers and queer people share a powerful history of resistance against stigma, discrimination, police violence and criminalization. It's as well known fact that the Stonewall riots, the very reason we celebrate Pride today, was started by trans sex workers of color. Our histories are linked, and so is our present. Today, all over Europe and the world, laws against sex work are being used to target queer people and migrants. They are being used to stop and arrest trans women walking down the streets. They are being used as an excuse to deport young refugee men who sell sex to survive. Even the Swedish law, portrayed as feminist and intended to only punish the clients, are today primarily used to stop migrant women at the border. And while you are able to start your rainbow families with increased rights to adoption and insemination, sex workers here in Sweden are having their children taken away from them because they aren't respectable enough to be parents. Not long time ago, the same reason was used to deny gay and lesbian people their right to family. <laughs> Violence is a daily reality for queer people who sell sex. 88% of murdered trans people in Europe are sex workers. 
racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, xenophobia, add LGBTQIA sex workers vulnerability to violence. Sweden is trying to export their client criminalization laws international. But with a Swedish framing of sex work as men's violence against women and sex workers as voiceless victims, queer people who sell sex are completely left out of the conversation. The violence doesn't only come from clients, but often from the very people who are supposed to protect us. Then sex work is criminalized, like in Sweden. Sex workers from our community are even less likely to reach out to police enforcement than straight sex workers. In a criminalized context, the police aren't our saviors. They are the people hunting us. Despite all these human rights abuses targets at people from our community, despite sex workers fighting for rights for all LGBTQIA people for many decades, sex workers are time to time again being told that there is not a place for us at Pride and in queer organizations. This is shameful and it needs to stop. So what can we do? We've heard a lot of people say that they want to help. We have heard a lot of people who are here today say they want to help. To help migrants, help trans people, help drug users and even help sex workers. But how are people helped by being silenced? By being bullied? by being arrested, assaulted, deported, deprived of our income, by being separated from our children and loved ones. What can we do together to make sure the human right of all LGBTQIA people, including sex workers? The first step is to stop your respectably politics and listen to sex workers. The second step is to support something sex workers all over the world are fighting for, the decriminalization of sex work. If anyone here believes in the right, freedom, hope and dreams, and even the survival of the most marginalized members of our community, the first thing to do is to listen. Listen to our many and varied voices. Some of us here today, some of us in your communities, some of us daring to make out our voices heard, even when it risks our own safety. Sex workers in Europe call for the LGBTQIA movement to remember its commitment to inclusion Listen to sex workers and uh, to speak out for sex workers' rights and the full decriminalization of sex work. We call for policymakers to meaningful involve us in the elaboration of all policies affecting our lives. This is important. Our community needs to stop leaving people behind in the struggle to seem as normal and respectable. Sex workers should not be paying the price when gay and bisexual people get the right to marry and adopt children and walk safely home at night. We're all in this together. Sex work is work. And sex worker rights are human rights. The LGBTQIA struggle is not over until all our siblings are able to celebrate with us. Decriminalize sex work now.
Jag tyckte att det var underbart att se en människa stå på den scenen framför alla de människorna och prata om våra rättigheter som om det vore självklart. Och det var så otroligt rörande och fint att se det. Och det är liksom, jag kan knappt säga det med liksom mina ord, alltså hur underbart det kändes. Men det var helt fantastiskt.